It's Tuesday, July 5th, and we're hunting the runner. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. So this is the cipher, a line in the book, a, a number, a letter. Book ciphering for dummies. We got a tweet telling us that the clue referenced the movie Argo. So now we're just waiting for America to tell us what book it is. In the clue, there was a bunch of capital letters that suggested the dog's name is Argo. You got it? Got it. The Odyssey by Homer. The Odyssey by Homer, which I've read a billion times. I love it. I love Greek mythology. It says hell with the lid off. Hell with the lid off is the answer. That is a nickname for the great city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So, right, so we're in the car, we got the clue, we know exactly where we're going. So we're headed to Pittsburgh. Brother Nature is getting out of the nature into the city. We only need to be in the lead the day we catch the runner. Yeah, That's how it's looking right now. We're doing it. Steel City, baby. Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Matt Pat and welcome to the runner. I am Matt Pat. We're on day five of the hunt and the bounty for the runner has climbed to an astonishing $75,000. That, my friends, is what our chaser teams are putting themselves through H-E Double Hockey Sticks to win. H-E Double Hockey Sticks, it's a family-friendly stream for you guys. And your chance to win is coming, so get ready to act, because America's cash task is just moments away. But first, when we last saw the runner, she was celebrating her independence from the chasers somewhere in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I wonder if she saw my grandparents while she was there. Hey, Grandma, Grandpa, I know you're watching. True facts, they're fans of the show. Love you guys. Enough familial shoutouts though. Was the runner fast enough and smart enough to blast her way through the daily op before getting caught? It's time to find out. Virginia and the and the tri-state area for the first few days, but now it's starting to feel like a cross-country road trip. Pittsburgh, look out! Yeah, baby, look out for us. I think Bravo Square is only like 10, 15 minutes ahead of us because I remember seeing programmers tweet when they left, and we were on the road for 10 or 15 minutes. We know everyone is really close, so it's going to be really interesting when we get out trying to search her down on foot. It'll be interesting to see if anybody knows Pitts Pittsburgh that well. I don't think anyone's really got an advantage here. It's literally car after car after car. All the teams are basically following each other at that point. So um, the true test is gonna be when we actually get there and have to chase each other. Oh, it's the girls? Sweet and Savage? What? How did they get ahead of us? I don't understand. In Brutamar, and look at this group. We're coming in for the bass, huh? Let her on. Hit my dust. Uh oh. Bye bye. Bathroom break. We're stopping because I have a small bladder. <laughs> what do you got here? So, we have chaga mushroom. We also have ashwagandha. We have maca. There's a porta potty right there. Thank you. She's like a camel. Turmeric. We have rhodiola and we have ginkgo as well. Good. All empty? I think so. <laughs> Ghee butter and we have coconut oil and MCT oil. That's what Great we're dealing choice. with today. I really think it's between friend zone and programmers. Brother Nature may be coming in third, and then the other two just never coming into the finish line because they're in La La Land with each other. Who knows? Okay, so we just got um, the next clue. When looking for the runner, it's a good idea to set goals, or if you have passion, you can just like a hound and head somewhere that already has two of them. Okay, well, we're just gonna tweet this out to our fans who really know Pittsburgh and see what happens. I mean, I'm gonna continue to start Googling stuff and uh, figure out what it could be in the area, but as now, we're, we're heading um, that way, right to the, oh, everyone's staying somewhere. I don't wanna say it though. Uh, so we just pulled over at a store to disguise ourselves more. I told the camera guys they need to disguise themselves more. We are on the move. Let's go play. 
two goals. Obviously, it's got to be something probably than like the, the Hounds, the River Hounds, like um, Pittsburgh River Hounds, or whatever it's called. I just got to stay hidden, stay sort of disguised, make like a hound and head somewhere that already has two of them. Pittsburgh, uh, I think the soccer team. Teams. I think the soccer team has something to do with hounds. So, Cole and I came up with relatively fast, like goals, two of them, stadium. I just got the message that tells me that told me to go to Highmark Stadium. I'm on my way there now. What's it called? Highmark Stadium. We're going to Highmark Stadium. We're going to uh, Highmark Stadium. Highmark Stadium. Go to the ticket booth where tickets are under your team name. I'm a bit lost. Yeah. But you know what? We're gonna figure it out. I'm going. It's raining. Um, I don't think any of the chasers are out this far. James, the stadium's right down there on the other side of that uh, yellow bridge. We're going way out of the way. This is really kind of getting close. We're gonna catch the runner today. Today's the day we're gonna catch the runner in the rain. Bounty hunter weather. This is, this, is, this is what it's about. Gain access to the roof. Once on the roof, unfurl the banner and retrieve your checkpoint key. Your escape vehicle is a red and black Read muscle everything. car behind the sky boxes. So we just checked a, a car over there that we thought we were following. Right when we got there, it honked like it was locked. I think she hit the horn. Hiding in plain sight. Yeah. And take the stairs on the right. The ladder to the pole. Oh, Jeez, this ladder, I'm paying it all out. Sweet. 
be outside, Brandon. Soccer mom, what you, how do you get to the roof? Tell me, tell me how to get up. Something tells me she didn't really know how to get to the roof, sorry guys. But tell you what, that was exciting. The runner's successful daily op went down right in the middle of Pittsburgh's Highmark Stadium amid an epic fireworks show. Is that though where you sent the chasers with your cash task answers? Time to find out right now who we're dropping $500 on for bringing the chasers one step closer to the runner. The winners of yesterday's act two are Tyler L, Jaren V, Michael D, Kevin R, Renanda, Renanda D, Edwin S, Nolan K, Brittany M, Herschel R, and Ace J. Congrats to you all. Now, some of you may have noticed yesterday that as the runner was completing her daily op, she received what's known as a checkpoint key. Yesterday, it came in the form of this indiscernible object in the planter behind Ben's chili bowl in DC. But what exactly is a checkpoint key? Well, that's a fair question. Every five days, the runner must get through what's known as a checkpoint. Think of it as her typical daily op, but on steroids. But in order to make it through that checkpoint, she'll need all of the checkpoint keys that she's collected across her previous four daily ops. So let's take a look at the checkpoint keys the runner has collected thus far. On day one, she received a set of instructions on the side of a truck. At another op, she acquired what looked to be some sort of a blueprint. Then there was this mysterious business card. And then finally, there was that strange item in the flower pot. So what could all of these things mean? How will they add up to help the runner at her checkpoints? We're gonna find out that later today. Now let's check in with those of you who are keep, tr let's check in with those who are trying to keep her from ever getting to that checkpoint, our beloved Chaser teams. We are live now with Kaj Larson in Pittsburgh on the field as they're gearing up to start the day. Kaj, tell us about what the challenge is that uh, the Chasers are going to be dealing with today. Dealing with today. Yeah, Matt, we are in steel country. And, you know, one of the beautiful things about this competition is that as our chase teams crisscross America in pursuit of the runner, you get an incredible perspective on just how varied the American landscape and tapestry really is. Like today, we're at Cary Furnaces, which is an abandoned steel factory here in Pittsburgh. And it's the site where I'm going to issue the next challenge and our chase teams are going to have to flex their creative muscle. But before I do that, let's check in with our chase teams and get a read on their pulse to see how they're holding up through the competition. So let's start uh, over here, Bravo Square. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? Good to see you, brother. Uh, Brandon, so one of the things is yesterday, it kind of, you seem to find your sweet spot. We were talking Greek mythology, we're talking ciphers, yeah. right? Like, you did pretty well, right? Yeah, the Odyssey is, we got lucky, the Odyssey is one of my favorite books. I'm, I like doing puzzles and ciphers and stuff like that, so we kind of got lucky, uh, but uh, you know, hopefully we'll be able to use our ability more than just the luck. So looking forward to seeing how we do in that factory. Nice, nice, good stuff. Brother Nature. How you doing, Kyle? I'm good, you guys. Uh, it seemed like yesterday you guys were uh, drafting in their wake a little bit. Is that a strategy? Well, to be honest, we were not very confident going into a cypher because we've never done one before. But uh, we really figured it out fast. And um, we actually figured it out right after Bravo Square did. And so, they thought we were tailing them, um, but we were actually just like on our route. Um, like, yeah, Matt Pat thought we were following, but we weren't. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> we we actually had like a malfunction with our GPS, and it took us the wrong way um, for the first ten minutes, and we had Pittsburgh dialed in the whole time. So it was a little confusing, but we got that organized today, and we're ready to go. Kind of recalibrating, get after it again today. Yeah. Awesome. Good luck today, you guys. Thanks, God. Friend zone. Hi. I love the matching Under Armour outfits. Yeah. Purple is the new platonic. It's yeah. Strategy. Uh -huh. Cool. Exactly. Is, is it? What is the strategy? It's all a mental game. Okay. So, and that's how we're gonna get them. Yeah. Yeah. What's uh, what's gonna be key to uh, to getting that big bounty today? I think uh, just 
sticking to it, going with our gut instincts that seem to work for us very strongly uh, with the help of America, which has been really good. We both love graffiti as well, so it's something that she's... We have uh, a very good eye for graffiti. Yeah, we are so very interested in it, so... Might give us a competitive advantage yeah. this time. Cool. And DC is a big street art place, right? Exactly. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Here we go. What's up, Kosh? Hey, how you guys doing? Good. How are you? Programmers. Yeah. Um, so today you're going to have to be able to exercise both your right brain and your left brain. Mm -hmm. Are you guys purely math and science, or how are you feeling about today's challenge? Yeah, we're feeling really confident. You know, the last two days things have been firing on all cylinders. Our execution has been spot on, but this is a game of minutes, right? So um, we're right on the runner's tail, and we know, you know, we need a perfect day and her to slip up, and we'll be there. You yeah. think, think you got it? I think we're in a good groove now. I think our, we've got our, our fan base really uh, helping us out and, and firing on all cylinders as well. So I think we're, we're in a good spot, ready to catch the runner. All right, good luck today, you guys. Thank you. Sweet and Savage. Yes, hello. Yeah. Hi. You guys, uh, I think it was underappreciated how epic you guys did yesterday. You covered yeah. a tremendous amount of territory in we the stadium, right? We ran around that stadium. Yes, we, we were did. first there. We were first to complete the entire day, and we were so amped about that. Our fans have been so great because they get our clue. If we don't get the answer, they get it just right as away. fast. Yeah. So it's amazing. We can get kind of on the road really quick, and unfortunately, just it wasn't our day, you know? Yep, yep. Well, Better luck today. Yeah. Uh, you're going to leverage We're that ready. social media base. Yes, of right? course. And get after it. Yep, yes. Awesome. Thank you. Good Thank luck you. Today, you guys. Thank you. All right, well, as you can see, our teams are locked, cocked, and ready to rock. So it's time to issue today's challenge. Chasers, here's what you have to accomplish in order to earn today's clue. You're at Cary Furnaces, which is an abandoned steel factory, but now is home to some of the most incredible and amazing street art and graffiti you'll ever see. Now, embedded within that graffiti are the clue that will help lead you in the direction of the runner. What you need to do is find three pieces of graffiti that are tagged with our signature runner flair, and then put those clues together in order to determine the location of the runner. Cool, got it? Got it. All right, well, let's light this candle. Three, two, one, hit it. Awesome, Matt. These guys are off into the steel factory to find their clues. Back to you at the studio. Awesome, and uh, props to the camera team there for also having to sprint, but with all that camera footage weighing on them. Good for them. Also, Kaj, I'm sorry that my professions of love for you yesterday in the studio sent you out onto the field. I'll still love you from afar. And lastly, special, special update to Brother Nature. Guys, if you're having a hard time finding Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, pro tip, Use that excellent GPS navigational system in your Ford Escape. The best. Hashtag sponsored. The Chaser Challenge has begun, and that means it's time for you to act. I hope your eyes are as sharp and your brain is thinking fast this morning because today's act requires both. Check it out. While the chasers are scouring carry furnaces, check Instagram for hashtag carry furnaces to find the missing piece of graffiti they need to solve their clue. You heard the mysterious clue, man. Get onto Instagram and search the photos with hashtag carry furnaces or the username quote the runner act. Find the missing piece of the chaser's clue right now. Then, when you've got the answer, make sure that you're entering it on go90.com slash the runner for your shot at $500. And make sure that you share that intel with your favorite chaser team. They need it if they want any shot at catching this runner. Speaking of, she's about to make her move towards her next daily op, which could be literally anywhere in America. If you don't have it already, make sure that you get the Go90 app right now to get all the latest breaking news on the hunt. We'll be back at 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific, with the names of everyone who just got $500 richer, plus live updates on the runner, the chasers, and even more chances to earn money while playing. But before we go, we've got a very interesting piece of intel that we're ready to upload to the world right now. The runner's name is Bree. Hello, America, and welcome back to day five of the new breed of reality. This is the runner. I'm 
Matt Pat, coming to you live from Runner HQ less than three hours ago. The chasers set off like wildfire through the abandoned carry furnaces in Pittsburgh in order to find their first clue to the runner's daily op. Meanwhile, the first cash task of the day was issued to you, America, in the form of an Instagram graffiti hunt. Those who were able to successfully solve the cash task searched through hundreds of posts with the hashtag Carrie Furnaces, with the hashtag of Carrie's Furnaces, until they found this one. Pull it up. Mount Rushmore, framed with the signature runner insignia and this caption. Who keeps tagging here? The savviest of players then clicked on this image and saw that it was tagged with username. The answer is presidents. Boom. The answer to the first cash task of day five was quite literally spelled out for you. But how did that help the chasers in their hunt? Well, thank you so much for asking, hypothetical viewer. On their hunt of carry furnaces, the chasers found graffiti art of some of the following. Cute little chicks, some big red lips, and a safety pin. That info, when paired with the cash task answer of presidents, paired with some Google Search 101 skills, instantly yielded a song by the presidents of the United States of America with the following lyrics. All the little chicks with their crimson lips, living in sin with a safety pin. The name of that famous song, Cleveland Rocks. We're going to Cleveland, people. That is my hometown. Speaking my language. We'll pay off 10 of you who solved the cash task with $500 later tonight. But right now, let's not step away from all that. Let's take a moment to step away from all that brainy clue solving stuff and jump into the action of the chase. Get breaking updates on the Cleveland Brown bound chasers right now. So here we go. The chaser teams scrambled through every dark corner of the abandoned carry furnaces to find the pieces of graffiti that made up their clue. And once again, the programmers were the ones who were first on the road. All right, so as we were leaving, we posted a Twitter video of us running out of, uh, of the steel factory saying that yep. we had figured out uh, what was going on there. We're now posting a video saying that we figured out the clue. That way, when the other teams get in their cars, they realize <laughs> that we already know we're on our way. Without even asking America for help, like, we know they're there for us, but we got this. We're heading straight to Cleveland right now. Super excited. Let's get out of here. That's my team back on the road in first again. The guys, the programmers, they're incorporating a lot of digital strategy into their uh, taunting here, which is pretty impressive. But then again, they also say that pride comes before the fall. So will this hubris actually be a weakness to them in the race? We'll see. They might want to be careful. In any case, let's see if their strategy of digital taunting worked out in the short term as we turn to Team Friend Zone, still at Carry Furnaces. Look at that face! She looks like a sad little puppy dog when she sees that video. The programmer's head games seem to be paying off for him. But the question is, will today be the day the runner goes down and the bounty is collected? Honestly, with the programmers at that big of a lead, it's starting to look more and more like it could be a reality. Then again, on the other end of the confidence spectrum, we have Team Bravo Square. Uh, the three clues were the safety pin, the lips, and the chicks. Uh, they were boxed in. Uh, some puzzles you get right away, some you just kind of make a mental block. I don't really do visual stuff as well, especially when I'm tired, so you know, kudos to the other teams, they got it or whoever helped them or whatever. But. It's becoming very clear that the fuel that keeps this whole fire burning is the passion of the runner's online fan base. So let's take a moment to check in with our social squad with all the latest updates. Social team, how are you guys? Yeah. How was your 4th of July? That is the lackluster enthusiasm I turn to you guys for. Uh, hey, so there was some big announcement, despite your lack of enthusiasm, there were some big announcements this morning. Most importantly of all, the runner's true name. Her Brie. name. Brie. Yes. Brie, guys. That's it. Man, no, at least you guys have something to say. Look at them. Over here, just nothing over here. Guys, hey, wake up. I know the holiday was yesterday, but let's. There's a runner to catch, people. You got Jeez. a Brie on it around here. Oh, See? Yeah. 
You know who I can always trust for this sort of stuff. Laura, <laughs> tell me about how the internet's responding to the real name of Brie. Well, the internet is now trying to figure out more about Brie. Yeah. Including this tweet from Will where he's trying to accurately spell her name. So is it Brie <laughs> with an I or Brie with two E's, whatever? Brie, and it looks like he went with the I version, is still the most kick-ass one around. I'd like to point out that he's missing one of probably the more popular spellings of Brie, which is Brie the Cheese, exactly. B-R-I-E. Do you think Brie's cheesy, though? I don't see the runner as cheesy. She doesn't strike me as the cheesy no. type. No. She strikes me as someone who's classy enough to appreciate a strong Brie cheese, maybe like a yes. Brie and cracker type, a little wine on the side, perhaps. Like she's, uh, Anyone who likes a toaster filter, Probably a fan of Brie Cheese. Agreed. But Agreed. Uh, so, so still no confirmed spelling of Brie the name. No confirmed, but Tegan here says that Brie is such a pretty name. Go Brie, keep it up, Speedy. So, or keep it Speedy, sorry. Keep it up, Speedy. <laughs> I'm Speedy. Like, they're Brie, also calling her Speedy. Speedy. <laughs> so th that's a question. Do you, is Brie short for anything? Is that a nickname? I don't no. know. No. Brie, don't, Brie. You haven't revealed that yet. Uh, I haven't revealed that yet. Oh my. Uh, maybe I'll have to do that later. Uh, so, anyway, okay, so keep up, Speedy. Keep it up. Uh -huh. And then we have a tweet from Ren here who says, America is going to catch you, Brie. It's only a matter of time. So. It's fascinating to me how quickly people have latched onto the idea that she has a name, right? Yes. So, like, they're no longer calling her the runner. They're no longer referring to her as this, like, mysterious person. Th they're very eager to call her by her first name. Yes. It's an interesting, like, weird, like, sociological thing, isn't Agreed. it? Agreed, yeah. It's very... And, and everyone's now calling her Brie. Yeah. I mean, the girl reveal, and now it's Brie, so... Who knows? We're probably going to see yeah, Brie fan even pages. fans. Obviously, this is someone who is kind of against Brie in the race, so exactly. supporting the chaser teams. Even that, them, they're calling her out, being like, hey, Brie, you're going down. Exactly. Fascinating. Going All right, down. what else? And then Megan, who said the runner is not <laughs> Stephanie confirmed. I cry. Like, if you cry, <laughs> those are every tears. Time. Tears uh, coming down. Guys, I told you that the runner was not Stephanie. You didn't believe me. I told you <laughs> that in the screen grab that we showed a couple days ago that the runner's too tall for Steph. But, uh, now you know to trust me <laughs> rather than doubting everything I say. So good. Run or not, Stephanie, Run confirm. Or not Stephanie. Unless she changed her name to Brie. Whoa, Brie, Matt, Brie, don't do this to us. Brie America can't handle Stephanie, this. Baby. No, it's not. Oh, my God. It's not at all. Okay. Uh, so, Annie, mass catastrophe yourself. Hey. Hey. How are <laughs> <laughs> this you like that? Great. Uh, yes, very yeah. much so. So, anyway, uh, Annie, what do you got for me? So there's just so much love for the programmers. It's a big day for them. They're, they're way out in the lead right now. Um, and, and in terms of inspiring the runner nation, yeah. they're really, really out in the lead because everyone wants to code. Code? Code and STEM. <laughs> STEM is not a verb, but it could be. <laughs> is like it, it's, not, is, it's a coding out. language though, right? It's something. I know so, what it something is. Something tells me it's you science. haven't done your research on no, this no, no. story. No, I know it's STEM. It's science, tech, engineering, and math. Oh, show me. Yep. Awkward. Okay. You like that? You like that? No. Matt Pat, so, that's so my writing utensil. So now I can't write so, on the internet. So basically Ugh. what you're telling me is that Pete, the programmers are inspiring their fan base yes. to basically go out and learn coding and programming. Totally. That, that by the sheer fact that they are sexy looking guys on the road on a reality yep. you know on reality digital too. video programming hunting this girl cross country that people are it's like Brie. yes it's Brie don't say girl yeah that she's got a name well good and and this tweet seems to show it right yeah Lee get William your, yeah get your nerd on by joining hashtag programmers and explore the endless possibilities of code and stem yeah so there you go they are a one man marketing team for making programming cool in the world right right that's awesome see yeah. the runner making a positive difference in this world good code. no response from the, no. from the just just let it sit there and the pit is just dead silent guys leaving me hanging here there's a reason we mic all of you up it's so that way you could respond just so you know maybe they're responding in code because of this topic <laughs> so you don't even know because you're not like like tuned into the social media code that we're operating under fair enough and and garrett actually is inspired to is. do some coding again a few years ago I had started learning to code Python. You guys have inspired me to get back to learning. Right. So there you go. Because they're coding out on the road. Like, it's not like they're doing it, but they, they represent. Yeah, they represent program. Code. They represent all the cool programmers yeah. out there. And fem grammars. Anyone can do it. Yeah, that's I true. knew what STEM was. 
You did. You did. You impressed me with knowing what STEM is. So Thank you. Awesome job to you. Mendy. Nice. Mendy, I haven't harassed you since I talked to you about being hot for all the women on the chase. What's I'm, going on with you, sir? All right, dude. So when it was announced that the runner had a checkpoint today, yes. Twitter freaked out. Yeah, today is, today's day five, which is a huge day, day for five. a runner because that means they have to assemble all four of those checkpoint keys to solve the, the ops for the day. Perfect. So glad you explained it because hashtag Team Runner fans are freaking out. They're so scared for her. Yeah. Pooja, I'm actually scared for the runner today. What is this daily ops on steroids? What's going on? I need answers. Ooh. I need answers too, Matt Pat. What's going on? Uh, I can't. I can't tell you those answers until. The 10 p.m. update, Eastern Time, 7, ah. 7 p.m. Pacific Time. Uh, no, but right now the runner is going through that challenge, probably as we speak, getting a, her first sense of what it means <laughs> to go through a daily op on steroid. Cool. I'm excited to see how this turns steroid. out. Um, yeah. <laughs> what else we got? Uh, Incendium Clash, talking to the programmers. Yeah, you guys got this, and the runner has the checkpoint today, so that will give you some extra time. Hopefully, good luck. Yeah. So everyone's just super excited about this day five checkpoint. Yeah, We're people excited. are really curious to find yeah. out what it actually means to put these four puzzle pieces together to solve today's clue. Yeah. It's a big day for the runner. Absolutely. Bree, yeah. Bree the runner. It's a big Bree. day for her. So hopefully, <laughs> I don't know, for all those runner fans out there, like this is a make or break moment. And and uh, seventy-seven thousand dollars currently at stake. So big, big money on the line. Big Speaking money. of big money, Laura, I think you wanted to talk to me a little bit about money. Well, I just wanted to tell you that Mike out there and a lot of other runner fans don't know who they should root for in the runner, but it's nice to know I can still get money. Right. So I think people are kind of going back and forth between chase teams, runners. Any way they can win money, runner's cash now, chaser's cash, the right. act clues. So. Matt cash, still Matt not cash. a thing, still not a thing. We're working on it. <laughs> yeah, but, but it is one of those things that like, hey, at the end of the day, right, whether it's a chaser team who wins or the runner who wins the game, at the end of the day, the true winner are you guys watching at home because there is money enough for all of you. That's why we keep it encouraging you. Go to the website, submit your answers, befriend the chaser teams. It's all for you guys. So there you go. Literally $10,000 plus a day going out to you. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. You wouldn't know it from the pit's reaction to me saying stuff so like that. So much money. They're like, yes, that is a decent amount of money for them to win. All right. Hey, well, thank you guys, as always, for infusing me with your enthusiasm about the game. Obviously, the social media support here is more than just huge. It is critical. So to keep you guys well, so to keep you well compensated for your hard work, each Chaser team continues to give out a thousand dollars a day in Chaser cash. Here are the preliminary winners from yesterday's chase, and they're up on the board. Bravo Square hit at Mush One Moon with their daily thousand dollars for some incredible fan art she drew of them catching the runner. A picture is not just worth a thousand words, but a thousand dollars. Am I right? Brother Nature rewarded at. Gab Gabe Zero for not only helping with clues, but also for the following haiku. <clears throat> Runner be afraid. Brother nature fears no rain. They have Twitter's aid. A thousand dollars for a haiku. I did the math for you guys. That translates to $58.82 per syllable. Not a shabby return. Sweet and Savage sent their cash to at Live for Music 318, who has been one of their top supporters since day one of the race, tweeting tons of runner intel and just being a great and awesome fan all around. Friend Zone paid off at Jamie Lee Miles, who dissected a photo the runner tweeted and found out where it was taken just by using Google Maps. So note to self, don't cross at Jamie Lee Miles. She will find you and she will earn money off of you. The programmers rewarded at Mika Works Design for tweeting them the answer to the cash tasks under a secret secret programmers hashtag. So the programmers not only smart in their Twitter taunting strategy, but also secret hashtags, a super smart strategy that pays off real big for Mika Works Design. But the chasers have recently found themselves against another obstacle. People have started helping the runner, and she's paying for their help as well. The preliminary winner of yesterday's runner cash is at Cersei6304, Cersei6304, who didn't share any fancy intel or Google Earth images or anything like that. Nope, he just tweeted her a poem that his daughter wrote in support of her hero, the runner. That's so sweet. Isn't that sweet, Chase, the pit team? Chase team. Chase team. Great. Fantastic. Why do I even bother? Why do I even bother? 
The runner, though, this is cool. It shows that the runner is a fan of the arts. Also, it shows that fans of the runner apparently have the least catchy Twitter handles ever. Cersei6304, come on! Anyway, now we go back onto the big board for an update from the GPS map here. So this is from earlier today at the Steel Yard. You'll see, like we talked about at the top of the show, programmers out first thing, wasting no time today solving that clue immediately, leaving literally all the other teams in the dust. Look, and for miles and miles and miles they're going. So today... Today, my friends, they are the ones to beat. The programmers are the teams to beat. And if, you know, they are the ones with the, the best chance at catching the runner all today. Pretty exciting. And that also means that, guys, you better get ready to act, America, because America's second cash task is live right now. Because Team Sweet and Savage has shared it across Twitter. The clock is ticking. America, here is your second cash task. So to catch the runner before the ship has sailed, you've got to pick up some steam. But if you're out of commission, don't worry. You won't end up like your sister, Joseph H. France. You'll just retire at your birthplace, though it might be a little eerie. Good luck, America. Solve that clue and win the cash, then send it to your favorite chaser team so they know that you have their back. And to increase your chances of winning, I highly recommend downloading the very free, very easy Go90 app on your smartphone or tablet. The only easier decision you'll have today is when to buy that gorgeous, fully loaded 2017 Ford Escape that you've had your eye on. We'll be back later tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Time to announce the, mor the names of this morning's Act 1 winners, as well as show you that all too promised how to capture the runner technology. I know we promised that to you guys yesterday, but, you know... Just blame it on me. It was probably my fault in some capacity. So we'll get all those details over to you later tonight during the evening update. Until then, remember, the chase continues. See you then. Happy hunting, America. Act 2 is live. Earn some money. Internet, this is your runner evening update. I'm Matt Pat, and nothing makes me happier than seeing my name appear on this big board right here. Today's hunt for the runner took us from beautiful Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to our next stop, my hometown, Cleveland, Ohio. But before we get into the action, we promise to deliver a crucial piece of gameplay info to you guys. And now it's time that we deliver on that promise. We've gotten tweet after tweet, Facebook post after Facebook post, all asking the same question. What the heck happens if the runner gets caught? Well, you've waited long enough, Internet, so here is your answer. If at any point during the hunt a chaser team spots the runner, there's only one way to capture her. The pursuing chaser team must open the runner capture mechanism on their phone, like I am doing right now, and hit this big red button right here. Because whenever there's a button, you can be sure it's a big red one. So, oh, upside down, after hitting the button, a 30 second countdown clock initiates. If that chaser team can get within 20 feet of the runner before the 30 second countdown is up, then it's official, the runner has been captured. There you go, just like that. But what happens then? Is the game over? Oh no, my friends, far from it. The chaser team that made the capture claims the current bounty at the moment of the capture. A bounty that, by the way, has already risen to over $75,000. That's a ton of money! But then, my friends, the chase continues. A new runner begins the next day, picking right up where the old one left off. The bounty then resets to zero, and it starts climbing again. $15,000 a day, every day, all the way until July 30th. And now you know the more you know. But will it matter? It has been five days so far and the runner has proven herself to be extremely impressive. The chasers definitely have their work cut out for them. Cleveland rocks and quite honestly this runner hunt is probably the most exciting thing to happen to the city in months. Well that and the whole LeBron Cavaliers thing but you know that goes without saying, right? We're about to reveal the names of the winners from this morning's cash task, but first let's enjoy a little chaser action, shall we? Let's take a look at how the chaser teams fared in their frantic journey from PA to Ojai. Oh my gosh, I love me a good old Ford Escape. Hashtag so very sponsored. Take it to the package.
The Chaser's day starts at the historic Pittsburgh factory of Cary Furnaces, where years of graffiti has transformed this landmark into an urban canvas. Here, each team must search for visual clues displayed in graffiti at different locations around the property. Those clues, combined with America's cash task, will lead our chasers to the runner. But at the same time, the runner receives her daily ops and sets off for her next destination. Use a checkpoint key from Atlantic City. Okay, that's the microchip and learn exactly where you need to go. Then use the checkpoint key from Washington, D.C. and Noakes to discover how to retrieve your first Anali key run. William G. Mathers Steamship in Cleveland, Ohio. It's go time. Three, two, one, hit it. We're looking for graffiti. Um, anywhere in, on, and around the building. Nothing in there. It looks like. You see anything in there? I'm not seeing anything here. Okay. There's just a lot of options for what we could be looking for, so we need to get, I think, a little we bit need more get information in. on what it is that we're looking for. Why don't we pull up Instagram and check? It says the answer for the act is presidents, but I, I don't believe that. Yeah. yeah okay. Now that we're day five, it's like hard to believe anything we get. It's right there, right there, right there. You see a pair of lips, they're framed in a particular shape. It's the same frame the as the one that was in the Mount Rushmore. And a pair of lips, they're framed in a particular shape. It's the same frame as the one that was in the Mount Rushmore. And the one that was tagged on the Instagram post from the Act Club. There's 621 posts. We should be able to look at all this to see if anything is similar. A lot of people sent us one of the pieces of graffiti. We're pretty sure that's right. The issue we're having now is we don't know what the other two pieces are. So we have to find that other piece, but we're also trying to figure out what the other two pieces of the feed might be. So we have to take pictures of each one. Can't find the third one, and we're just, I feel like I've seen every single piece of graffiti, so. I got it. So we found one over here, but there's a couple other teams in here, so we're just gonna take a bunch of pictures to try to throw them off as to what we're doing. There's a thing over here that's got the same right. order. Remember, they have the act of flare. Which is good, but we need several that we've taken. Oh, we're the first team done. We got good. the runner today, bud. Let's go. Get we're on her. We're on her. Hit that horn. Hit that horn. Let him know who's up. <laughs> Program on <laughs> Got him. Let's go. Four of the five teams basically seem perplexed and lost. Programmers, once again, first to put all the pieces of the puzzle together. They got in their vehicle and they are on their way to track the runner. Just go back in here. I got it. Okay, let's go. You sure? You got it for sure? Yeah, 100%. We don't know where we're going yet. Uh, we're gonna try to figure this one out on our own. Uh, James, anything? I'm just Googling. Right now, I found some lyrics. Three chickens, lips, sweet lips, safety pin. I don't know, dude. That's a uh... whoa, whoa. Hold on, I got something. All right, all the little chicks with the crimson lips go Cleveland rocks, Cleveland rocks. Living some... in sing with a safety pin. Yes, Cleveland we're going to Cleveland. Rock. Cleveland. Cleveland. Let's go. Rock. Plug it in. Put it in. in. We're now posting a video saying that we figured out the clue. That way, when the other teams get in their cars, they realize that we already know we're on our way. We got this. We're heading straight to Cleveland right now. Super excited. Let's get out of here. I think we should just dive out a little bit. You got the one of the birds or not? Yeah. So, like that, plus it like that. Safety pin, lips, three baby chickens. Yeah. Once we knew what we were looking for, we jumped in the car, we didn't really know where to go, and then Travis um, what do we got? Where are we going? There's a song called Cleveland Rocks and it has it's the safety pin, it has the three chicks, and it also has uh, the lips as well. So, feeling pretty good about that. We know we finished our clue really, really fast today and we've got a huge lead on the other teams. We also know the runner has a really tough day ahead of her, so I think today's the day we catch her. Okay, so, so 
it's the programmers and the Hawaiians that are ahead of us. Those are the two cars that we're missing. So they're right in front of us. So, I mean, we can ride with them the whole way. That's uh, Travis and Pella right there. Yeah. All right. That's Team Sweden Savage taking off right now. It's about 71 minutes since I issued the challenge. We should try to lose these guys behind us. Tell them we're going to Mount Rushmore. Do they know where they're going? We do. We just uh, lapped the Hawaiians. They were just in chill mode, I think. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Brother nature, but they're on our tail right now, so we're gonna have to try to shake them. Uh, some puzzles you get right away, some you just kind of make a mental block. I don't really do visual stuff as well, especially when I'm tired, so you know, kudos to the other teams, they got it or whoever helped them or whatever, but uh, we don't know what the location is, but uh, we're heading in a direction. What, what are you using to find the location? I don't know, let's just start heading towards Monticello. Monticello? Yeah. Alright, so uh, we just got a pro tip via Twitter from one of our fran fans. Okay. It says, pro tip, increase your number of facial expressions, Alex Dads. Oh. Your friend out. What are they referencing? Uh, the classic look bite that you uh, every classic. photo ever. That's my bad. All right, well, let's, uh, let's hold them out here. <laughs> Feeling pretty good. So we will keep you updated as to how the journey goes. Thanks for all the clues. We will communicate when we get uh, to our next destination or shortly therein. Stay tuned. Fantastic. I love this game. Now, here, though, is what I've been waiting for. The dedicated taskers who correctly entered in the answer to today's first act clue at www.go90.com slash the runner. Go90.com slash the runner. Let's give you guys $500 from our sweepstakes. Pull up the list. Gabrielle C, Chase K, Janine H, Ian E, Zachary L, Spencer D, Lauren S, Jose V, Nick D, and Kate S. Congrats, you guys! But make sure that you don't spend it all in one place. Be sure that you save some of that money for a rainy day, or perhaps a flashy new 2017 Ford Escape. And everyone, don't forget to download the Go90 app on your smartphone or tablet. It's free, so honestly, you have zero excuses. Join us again tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern time as the chase continues. Good night, everybody! Where's that lackluster enthusiasm? Yay!